We also put together um, Valentines for our soldiers. That was also an addition to our Shoebox for Soldiers project. As we were sending letters to our soldiers in Iraq, we also, of course, received letters in return. The letters were addressed directly to the middle school, and watching students open letters from their soldier was truly amazing. You could see the, the sunlight in their face, and it made everything worth it. Their hard work, their dedication, as they opened a letter and experienced real life from Iraq. It was truly amazing, and I think it really made all of our students here at Mason County Central Middle School, not only just the 6th and 7th graders, but all grade level wide, to really understand why it's important to support our troops. A lot of lessons learned throughout our Operation Shoebox for Soldiers, supporting our troops in Operation Iraqi Freedom, and all of the many projects that we complete here at the middle school. I think one, a couple of the most important lessons that we've learned is teamwork, cooperation, of course our core democratic values, especially patriotism, the importance of freedom, something that we take for granted every day, I think. Most of our students come to school every day, they drive in a car or a bus, sit at a desk, and they take all of those things for granted, and that's many of the things that the people in Iraq do not have, and that's why we're there, is to supply them with, with things that they don't have. And it's very important to support our troops, and I think all of our students have learned a very valuable lesson. The most valuable lesson, however, that we've learned is, is very simple. It's better to give than to receive. in America we live in a time that uh, our dreams and goals are tied to wealth, um, attainment of material things, uh, easy, life is easy. Well the three that I'm getting ready to talk about knew that they were joining an organization that did not offer those nice easy things day in and day out, but they joined anyways. 
I had the headlines for a day, what would the headlines be? What would the headlines be across America? What would be, who is Chad Allen? Who is Mark Delina? Who is Eddie Garvin and who is Benjamin Rosales? And why should America know? That's what I would want for headlines for the day. But who are these four individuals? The kid didn't know uh, anything but being number one. The kid was a corporal within two years, went to turn school, was honor man, went to NCO school with the colonel gave up this highly coveted coin to the young man. But what I loved about him the most, his most redeeming quality was he was very humble and very self-effacing and he loved his family. There's a saying that we have some of us use in the battalion is that Mark got it. Mark knew that it wasn't about Mark Jelena. He knew that the rank on his shoulder, it wasn't about him. That rank was the Marines rank. That, that's what I can do for the Marines is what Mark Delina said. The measure of a man is what you do with what you have. We said before we left, and this is battalion-wide, there's people that live off tradition, people that live off history, or are you going to go out there and make tradition and make history? Your husbands, your brothers, your sons made a difference. They rose to a higher calling. They chose to live for something larger than themselves. But one thing they had in common was they wanted to do something that was bigger than themselves, and they did that. My heart belongs to you. And if for you, I see my son. My heart is with you. Thank you. Thank you for being part of my son. Thank you anywhere where you are. I love you and I'm proud of you. And I know I will never be a better man than I was. That seven months I spent with those men in front of me, as well as the three that we lost.